Hi, this is Robin Sharma, author of The Leader Who Had No Title, founder of the Titan Academy, and a giant and loving and respectful and gently passionate welcome to you for being here with me in this episode of the Mastery Sessions. So this is going to be relatively quick and I think relatively strong and hopefully tremendously valuable to you. I'm going to actually walk you through one of the exponentially one of the exponential productivity routines that I teach at Personal Mastery Academy. And it's called the 1990 One Rule. Before I get into it, I want to give you a little bit of context for why I'm teaching it or sharing it with you here in this episode. So we do live in the age of dramatic distraction. Most people, and it's no judgment, just reporting, but most people really are addicted to their phones. And there's a lot of research showing that it is an addiction, the same part of the brain responsible to, for our addiction to technology is the same center where cocaine addiction stems from. And I say this with a lot of respect, but there are a lot of very smart people in Silicon Valley and at other technology hubs around the world who really are single-mindedly asking themselves this question. How can we create apps? How can we create games? How can we create platforms that literally hook people? And if you look at some of the social platforms, they are so brilliant. Why? Well, from a neuroscience point of view, they trigger and they dial right into our reward centers. And that's why you see a lot of people, whether it's in Rome or at a beautiful, at a fun NBA game, or maybe it's Paris, or maybe it's uh, you know a wonderful meal, and rather than experiencing the meal or the moment, they are literally looking at who is liking their last picture on the social platform of the day. You see people walking, they're not fully present, they're dialed in and clinging to their technology. You know, a lot of people, the latest research actually shows the average employee is spending 50% of their time mired in, stuck in, clinging to distractions. And so you have what I call a gargantuan or an unbeatable competitive advantage divorcing or leaving the majority and rising into the rare air of the top 5% of performers on the planet and just understanding how to let go of distraction, how to manufacture world-class days with consistency because consistency is the mother of mastery. And here's another idea I want to offer to you. Look at what the 95% is doing and do the opposite and you're going to do absolutely fine in business, in productivity, in creativity, in philanthropy, in humanity, and living your life like an icon. So what's this 90-91 rule? Well, it's a daily ritual that I teach at Personal Mastery Academy along with the other nine. The model is the 10 core rituals of legendary performers. And we don't have the time today together to go into the other nine, but I did want to share the, one of them, which is the 9091 rule. And when I work with the billionaires, this one morning routine has helped them profoundly. And here it is. For the first 90 minutes of your workday, for the, I'll repeat that again because I didn't say it as elegantly as I wanted to share it. And this, I just run these podcasts raw and real. And so let me just share it more clearly for you. So for the next 90 days, your first 90 minutes at work, make it focused on your single most important project. I'll repeat that again. For the next 90 days, the first 90 minutes of your workday, Focus monomaniacally on your single most valuable project. I call it your game-changing move. So it might, be, it might be creating a new piece of code that will revolutionize the marketplace. It might be a new product that when you launch it will fill a need within your industry that no peer is currently providing. I don't know what your game-changing move is, but this is your poetry. This is your magnum opus for the next 90 days. So what most people do is, you know, people who are playing at victimhood, people who are in the 95%, people who are making excuses about ordinary results in their life, a lot of them are not doing the things that would give them legendary results. And what they do is they get to the office 
And rather than using prime time for A activities, they use their best hours watching dancing cats on whatever it is, whatever the video platform is. They spend their best hours surfing the internet looking at blogs. They spend their best hours playing with notifications, reading notifications, chatting with friends who are not really their friends, but really they're just bored so they're distracting themselves, which is just a form of medication because potential unexpressed turns to pain and they're in a lot of pain and it's subconscious and they haven't done the work to know it. So really they've created these drugs of choice like too much email, too much web surfing, too much chit chatting, too much looking at funny looking videos that make them laugh in the moment, that make them feel happy and give them a short burst of dopamine and maybe a little bit of serotonin which is the pleasure uh, neurotransmitter and that's how they get through their day. And all I'm saying is there is so much distraction available to you out there that if you are not acutely careful, it will dominate your days. But the top 5% are very, very different. Very, very different. I don't know why I'm whispering, but they're very, very different. Because to have the results only 5% of the population have, you've gotta be willing to do what 95% of the population are just not willing to do. And one of those things is this freedom from distraction. One of those things is building a pocket of time so that you use your highest value hours, which is really 5 a.m. to 8 a.m. or 9 a.m. You use your platinum hours for your most valuable activities. We could talk about the science that says your willpower is highest first thing in the morning, your um, your Uh, your energy is highest first thing in the morning and your mental focus is highest first thing in the morning. And if you want to know what I call the five precious assets, and I also teach this at Personal Mastery Academy, one of them is your mental focus. The second one is your physical energy. And the third one is your discipline. When I work with the billionaires, I teach them the protocols to protect these and scale these because it's your interior empires that are worth protecting. What I'm really trying to say is this. A ritual for you to run and dial in and hardwire to the point of automaticity, that's the word the researchers use when a habit becomes your new normal over 66 days, is the 1991 rule. And to give it to you again so you really remember it, for the next 90 days, your first 90 minutes, create a tight bubble of total focus so that no one can distract you. Turn off your devices, put them in a little plastic bag, put some reminders on your door, maybe some post-it notes that this is my tight bubble of total focus for the next 90 minutes. Tell your team, tell your loved ones, maybe get a, put a do not disturb sign on your door. They'll laugh and explain it to them that for the next 90 days, I will spend 90 minutes away from distraction, away from technology, away from interruptions, focusing on my magnum opus, focusing on the genius project that I wanna bring into the world because I will never mail it in, I will always bring it on, and I'm gonna do this for the next 90 minutes, and I'm gonna optimize it and iterate it every day, and I'm gonna bring my full bandwidth because what makes a genius, they all have one trait in common, they were able to spend extended periods of time in isolation focused monomaniacally on their most valuable project. And that's what allowed Einstein to do what he did. That's what allowed Jean-Michel Basquiat to produce that art. And they dial into a, a, a neurobiological phenomenon that I teach called transient hypofrontality. This isn't the time to share it. I'm just suggesting to you, install the 9091 rule. It will do amazing things and create exponential productivity. It will give you a gargantuan competitive advantage against your marketplace peers. It will allow you to install the hardwiring of genius. It will allow you to distribute awesome forms of value to the people that you serve in your business, in your craft, in your career, and in your life. And at the end of the day, leadership is really about two things, personal mastery and helping as many people as possible. So definitely get the 90-91 rule hardwired in. If you want to learn a lot more, 
about these kinds of neuroscientific hacks to allow you to own the game and other routines and rituals, go on over to Personal Mastery Academy. People always say, Robin, we don't know how to get in. Tell us, would you mention it at the end of a podcast? So I'm doing that to be helpful to you. This is a two-day live event. It happens every June. All It sells out every single year very quickly. Just go over to personalmasteryacademy.com, personalmasteryacademy.com. I'd love to help you. I'd love to get you in this room so you'll learn all these ideas which we don't really have the time to get into in this relatively short podcast. Second thing, I would love your help to change the world. I would love to help you, your help to help me inspire more people, teach them these scientific, data-based uh, rituals, routines, mindsets, heart sets, soul sets, health sets that I've been teaching to my highest level clients at the Titan Summit which I run every year for many years. And, advent, and to my icons and the billionaires I work with. And if you wanna help me, because the world has a lot of hate in it right now, the world has a lot of people that are operating far below their potential, the, lot, the, the world has a lot of victims in it, the world has a lot of people that are just stuck. And I want people to understand the neurobiology of greatness. I want people to understand these, you know, the 90-91 rule, how easy it is to install it. And remember, all change is hard at first, of course, I'll admit that, I'm honest. I want you to know that. This isn't a magic. The only thing that's rocket science is rocket science, but all change is hard at first. If it wasn't hard, it wouldn't be real change. And then it's messy in the middle as you install a new habit. And then it's gorgeous at the end. And so I acknowledge that. But if you wanna learn how to, do, if you wanna help me help other people, uh, just within the next hour, please share this episode with three of your friends. And some of them might say, wow, I can't do it. Others will say, that's interesting, but let's just get the message out there. Let's just, let's just be disruptors together. Let's just give people the information and the education because education is inoculation against disruption. Let's just be seed planters and Johnny apple seeds planting seeds of mastery and audacity and bravery and heroism around the world. So share this episode with three friends over the next 60 minutes so we get the message out there. What else? Everyone's asking and asking me, Robin, can you talk a little bit in your podcast at the end, at the beginning? And the reason I want, don't want to do it at the beginning is I want to earn your trust. I want to give you great value. And then I want to share an opportunity for you to really change the rest of your life. And it's called Robin Sharma Nation. The internet is a buzz. The online is a buzz with it. We've had so many people from so many countries getting into the program, asking about it, and it's simply this. Robin Sharma Nation is something I've been asked to do for 20 years, and I haven't been ready to do it. But I'm finally ready to mentor you and other people like you online every single month in an absolutely world-class training program. There is nothing quite like Robin Sharma Nation on the planet today, and it will change your life if you stick with the program. No idea is gonna work if you don't do the work. It's like an elite athlete. She doesn't show up or he doesn't do the training for a week. You've gotta do it over and over and over to hardwire, reset, install these ideas that I'll share with you, the rituals I'll share with you, the things that I teach at the Titan Summit, the things that I teach to the billionaires I work with, the NBA superstars who come to my events, the film legends, that come to my events, the, the titans of industry. I've worked with Starbucks, Tom's Shoes is a client, Nike I've worked with, uh, Microsoft, Oracle, et cetera, et cetera. It just goes on, NASA. These are the clients I've worked with. I will teach you how the best in the world do it every single month in the comfort of your ho own home, online, and here's the great thing, at a fraction of the cost of getting into the Titan Summit or uh, me coaching you, um, one-on-one -on -one live. And so just go on over because people are saying, how do we do it, Robin? Could you repeat it? So I'd love to help you. I'd love to serve you. This will change your life. Just go over to robinsharmanation.com. Pretty simple. robinsharmanation.com. Read the details and do what every A player does. Take some action. Don't get caught in excuses. Let go of your personal story. Don't say I'm too lazy. It wouldn't work for me, et cetera, et cetera, because you can live a legendary life or you can make a bunch of excuses. You're not gonna get to do both. And I wanna help you. And I'm gonna challenge you a little bit. Let go of your excuses. Take a leap of faith. Go over to robinsharmanation.com 
and just sign up for the program and test it out and you'll see how valuable it is. Final thing, I love, love, love the social media. I love being on Instagram and I do it with discernment because I tell, I share a lot, you know, don't let it dominate your days and I don't let it dominate my days. I do it very carefully and with great discernment, but I love helping people and interacting and having conversations on Instagram and Facebook. So find me on Instagram, find me on Facebook. We're in the millions of people following me on Facebook. I'm only mentioning that because this is a movement and I want you to be a part of it. Find me on the social media. Hope I've given you great value. Hope you're inspired. Hope you like the 9091 rule. Hope you'll act on it because ideation without execution is just a delusion and you are better than that. And you deserve exponential productivity. You deserve to own your craft, own the game, lead your field, and live a life that in your own original, loving, powerful way makes history. I don't know you, perhaps, but I love you. Talk to you in the next Mastery Session. All green lights, go be great. Hi, this is Robin Sharma. I hope you received great value from this mastery session. If you'd like to receive potent training videos, blog posts, learning tools, and information on my two live events, Personal Mastery Academy, and my flagship four-day experience, the Titan Summit, go ahead and visit robinsharma.com.